Hey what's happening PCI, I'm Kai Parker and this is the news for November 2022. While winter is almost upon us and PCI students are once again reminded of the harsh realities that come along with it. When the snow starts piling up, PCI students should remember to dress warm, drive safe and be sure to stay tuned to the Portage La Prairie School Division website and social media platforms for any bus cancellations. If this winter is anything like the last one, we'll need to stay ready. This school year has been busy, but I don't think anyone's been too busy to notice one of the newest, brightest, and colorful improvements at PCI. Paisley Taylor reports. Hey Kai, I'm here with PCI grade 12 student McKenna Gare, who painted this beautiful mural behind me. Hi McKenna. Hello. I just want to ask you a few questions about the mural, if that's okay. So, where did this project originate from? Ms. Smith approached me last spring to create a mural for Ms. Berthlet and Sources of Strength around the theme of trusted adults. Awesome. And where did the design idea come from? Uh, the original design that I had planned was for the giant behind us to represent a trusted adult and to have a bunch of forest animals and aquatic animals represent students. But in the end, me and the rest of the collaborators, we came up with this design. Cool. Well, it looks really good. Thank you. <laughs> um, who was all involved in helping? Uh, Miss Smith's art students were huge contributors. There were about 10 of us that worked on the mural for two months to finish it. Wow, that's really cool. Thanks for the interview. And thanks to everybody who helped paint the mural. Back to you, Kai. Thanks, Paisley. What a great addition to our school. Big Brothers and Big Sisters is looking for PCI students interested in volunteering to be a mentor to elementary students. Whether you're working towards a volunteer credit or just looking for experience for your resume, volunteering just one hour a week of your time playing games and becoming friends with an elementary school child can be a very rewarding experience. If you're interested, stop by either office for more information. Well, November is the month of the year that we all take time to remember the people who gave and dedicated their lives to keeping us safe and free. PCI's Remembrance Day service is on November 10th and always includes PCI students as the color party at the ceremony. We caught up with one of these students to learn more about the color party and the cadets program. LJ Sason reports. Hey Kai, I'm here with PCI grade 11 student McKenna Sharp, a member of the Portage Royal Canadian Army Cadets. Hi McKenna. Hi LJ. So how long have you been part of the cadets program and how did you get into it? This is my fifth year in the cadet program and I joined after hearing my older brother's stories of being a cadet and his experiences and it just sounded very interesting and engaging and then when I turned 12 I decided to join. Alright, so what exactly is the color party and what role does it play in the Remembrance Day service? The color party is a part of the parade when the cadets march on the flags. Um, the flags are the provincial flag and then the Canadian flag as well and it shows a huge resemblance in Remembrance Day. Um, and it's very important to represent the country and those soldiers who have fought for us. Right on. So, other than the color party, what kind of activities have you participated in being in the cadet program? Other activities include leadership and citizenship skills. Uh, we learn marksmanship, drill, um, physical fitness, and as well as lots of other fun activities such as going out on expeditions, um, biathlons, canoe days, um, and there's further training like going away for summer camps across the country and getting to meet a lot of new people. It's definitely one of the best organizations that I've joined and I'm very proud to say that I'm a cadet. Alright, sounds like a very great organization. Thank you for your time McKenna. Back to you Kai. Thanks LJ, what a great organization. Well, PCI hockey season has started and you better believe PCI Channel 1 will be back live streaming some hockey along with live commentary. Be sure to stay tuned and follow PCI Channel 1 on Instagram and Facebook for more information and posts as to which games will be live streamed. The PCI volleyball season has been well underway for over a month now. PCI Channel 1's Thomas Satina caught up with one of the varsity girls to find out a bit more about their season. Hi Kai, I'm here with DeAndre DeJarles of the PCI Saints volleyball team to ask her a few questions about the season that's already started. Hello, how are you today? I'm doing good, how are you? I'm doing good. So, how's the season going so far? Our season is going great. We had a very great start to the season. Um, the girls are looking good, the coaches are looking good. Everything's amazing. That's fantastic. Um, what would you say are maybe some challenges though for the team as the season goes on? Um, just getting to know each other, getting comfortable with each other on the court. Yeah, well, anything to get it going. Um, 
And finally, uh, when does this season wrap up? Our season wraps up after our four games. Then after that, we have playoffs. Yeah, well, best of luck. Thanks for joining us. Back to you, Kai. Thanks, Thomas. Good luck to the team with the rest of their season. Well, that's what's happening PCI for November 2022. Have a great month, everyone, and we'll see you next time.